It's the last game of the series between the Jacksonville Suns and the Bluxy Shuckers here at Bragan Field. Welcome to Suns Today. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Berg swings. It's a high drive. That's deep in the right field. Andriel is back, but he'll watch it go over the wall. A walk-off homer for Alex Berg. First pitch to Matt Yingle is swung on. High drive deep to left field to the palm trees. It's gone. Russell swings. A fly ball. High and deep to right field. It is gone. A three-run homer. Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover. Glad to welcome you back to Bragan Field as we get set for this fifth and final game of the series between the Suns and the Shuckers. Last night, Biloxi clinched a series victory with a 5-1 win over Jacksonville. Here's a look back at all the highlights. Here's a swing and a high fly ball deep to right field. Into the bleachers it goes. A three-run homer by Nick Ramirez puts Biloxi on top. It's now the Shuckers three, the Suns nothing, bottom of the third. Batista fires. Runner goes. A swing and a ball poked through the left side for a base hit. Johnson scores easily standing up. And an RBI single for Orlando Arcia continues his hot streak. Runner goes. Pitch is taken low and inside. Throw down a second. Is in time. Brandon Vance guns down Nick Shaw to end the inning. Once again, a tough night for the Suns offense. The only run courtesy of a wild pitch by Biloxi in the ninth inning. Biloxi continues to play strong baseball to start the 2015 season. However, that doesn't necessarily mean the Shuckers are in first place. With more on that, plus a full look at our Southern League standings, here's Kyle Crooks. All right, Roger, other than Jacksonville, it was a busy night in the Southern League, including an extra innings contest. We'll get into that here on the Southern League scoreboard, and we'll take a look at the standings as well. But for now, it was Mississippi over Chattanooga by a 5-2 score. Andrew Wasak picked up his first win of the year for the Braves. And in that extra inning contest, it was Montgomery 2 and Mobile 1. They won on a wild pitch by Bay Bears pitcher R.J. Hively that scored Patrick Leonard to win that one in extras. It was Pensacola finally getting back to winning ways by a 5-3 victory over Birmingham. Jesse Winker, a big night last night with a home run and two RBIs. As we talk about those aforementioned Southern League standings, starting out in the North Division, Tennessee winners of two straight currently in first place, while Montgomery in second at a 500 mark. Now moving down to four, Chattanooga. They're losers of four straight, given all the talent and all the prospects they have, while Jackson currently in the basement in that division. Moving over to the South Division, Mississippi Red Hot, winners of six straight, while Biloxi with the win last night still sits in second. Mobile, again, a tough loss last night, falls to 500 on the year, while Jacksonville is one game under 500 for the first time since opening night on April 9th, and Pensacola getting back in the win column but still four games under 500. That's a look around the Southern League. We'll have more in tomorrow's edition of Suns Today, but for now, we send it back to you, Roger. Thanks, Kyle. Now tonight, the series comes to a close as Jacksonville's playing its next to last series in this long 20-game homestand to start the season. The Birmingham Barons coming into town next starting tomorrow night. But here tonight at Bragan Field, we'll see a great pitching matchup as the Suns will have lefty Matt Tomshaw on the mound, making his second spot start for the Jacksonville Suns. He is, of course, a former JU Dolphin. He lives in Jacksonville in the offseason, took the loss his last time out against the Biscuits on Sunday. He'll be opposed by Jorge Lopez, a very good right-hander in the Milwaukee organization that is currently 0-2 on the season. He's looking for his first win as he faces Tom Shaw in today's ballgame. Should be a lot of fun. The Pirates of Fernandina are here. They'll be going around the ballpark in just a few minutes in their pirate ship. And make sure you stick around after the ballgame ends for the Napa Friday Family Fireworks. Should be a great time here at Bragan Field this evening. Game 5 of the Suns and Shuckers coming up. If you're at the ballpark, just sit back and relax. We'll have baseball coming up shortly. And if you're watching this online on the Suns YouTube channel, just head on over to jacksons.com. There you can listen to the game through the Suns Baseball Network or watch on MILB.TV. With the Jacksonville Suns, I'm Roger Hoover.